So if you're looking at me wondering what the heck happened to this guy, <laughs> well, that's a story and a half. I want to start off by saying I'm sorry I haven't uploaded anything in a while. Like I literally put out two videos and then fell off the face of the earth. That was not intentional. I have been dealing with a lot of illness and I am also packing up to move very soon. As you can see, my shelves are getting emptier and emptier because well, I'm putting things in boxes so that I can move out of here. On top of all that, I had to have a very unexpected surgery. This kind of came out of nowhere and knocked me on my ass for a few weeks. I have been absolutely useless since about the 1st of March, and it's just been perfect timing, really. It hasn't been perfect timing at all. So uh, in the last week of February, I started to have this very painful swollen spot on my left leg. Um, at first I wasn't too worried about, like I thought, okay, maybe this is just like acne or something and it's gonna go away in its own time, but it just got bigger and more painful. And then on the 1st of March, I developed a very high fever. And so I decided, okay, I'm going to go to the hospital since I'm measuring in at, I think it was something like 39.68. For anyone who's American or goes by Fahrenheit degrees, that's a pretty high fever. It's a very high fever. So rushed to the civic hospital and, you know, they took a look at it and they said, it looks like you have an abscess in your leg. There's a lot of infected and inflamed tissue that's pressing right up against the muscle part of the leg. And we should remove it now because it could do more damage later. So they, they froze my leg as best they could. Uh, they opened me up while I was still awake. They sucked out all the infected stuff and they stitched me back up. I still had a fever for a few days. I had to be in and out of the hospital a few times. At one point I was on an IV of antibiotics. At another point while they were taking blood, I got so lightheaded that I actually threw up on the nurse. Not my proudest moment. All this to say it was a very wild ride. And then at the end of it, they're like, so we need you to stay off of your legs for about two weeks, which is still not technically over, hence the crutches, but I am getting stronger. I am getting back into my groove, back to my old self. So I am thinking that I will be back in action very soon. Of course, I'm gonna take it very easy. I'm not gonna rush into anything new. I'm gonna ease myself back into the groove. That being said, I was really hoping to get a video out to you guys which was already feeling like it was gonna be very late when this all went down. So really sorry about that, but I do have another video tutorial coming out soon. I'm probably gonna record it tomorrow if I can get everything working just fine. I do need to download some software to kind of pull this off, but if I can get everything going, then I'm gonna record it tomorrow. Gonna to get it out to you guys sometime uh, late this week or early next week if everything goes well and from there on I'm going to do my very best to keep to a more regular uploading schedule that being said with moving and having to settle into new temporary digs uh, I'm going to be moving again in the summertime uh, and with everything else that's been going on it's really just not clear how things are gonna look over the next few months. And so I can't really make a solid promise about what videos are gonna look like in the next few months. And I feel bad about that because I just got started. I'm really literally just at the very start of this whole venture and already I'm having to make excuses and be like, oh, I don't know, we'll get the videos out when we can, but I'm doing my best and we will see what happens. Um, I do really hope that I can get as much content out to you in the future as I possibly can. I'm looking forward to sharing some of the ideas that I have with you guys. Uh, in the meantime, wish me luck with recovering and I will talk to you guys real soon. By the way, for anyone who's not already intimately aware of just how much of a dork I am, yes, I matched my socks to my shirt, even though I knew nobody would actually see them anywhere I went today, but I'm sharing them with you guys because there is absolutely no reason why this should go underappreciated. I mean, come on, that is dedication.